So if you have a question about the ITA process, please ask your question. Gillian Minto from Southeastern Sydney Medicare Local. You've stated there are about 60,000 in this target group, and yet there's funding for 24,000. Uh, what do you think or expect will be happening with the others who are not in PIR? The whole point about this is building a better treatment service system for 60,000 people. So whilst only 24,000 individuals will receive specific support under the PIR, the whole initiative is designed to make the system better so that, using another drug and alcohol example, the drug and alcohol worker who's got the action plan for client A um, happens to bump into the mental health worker while they're discussing that action plan and says, oh, by the way, you know Joe, that, that guy that um, is, is really struggling, he's actually been in three times this week, but we think that he needs some more sorts of care. And so what's been facilitated here is the relationship between um, clinicians, practitioners, support workers across the system. Um, Paul Kelly from Coffs Harbour Employment and Support Services. Consortium applications would be favourably um, reviewed. I'm just concerned whether, you know, depending how this is structured or how I'm interpreting it, whether they, that may work against the objectives of partners in recovery. I, I just sort of have a perception that, that you know, that any consortiums may lead to a committee approach or a task force approach to governance and management. It, it sounds like you might be making an assumption about what consortium means. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean a governance by committee and consensus with 25 service providers. A consortium could be configured with a lead agency and a quite a different governance model. So I, I don't think you need to assume that. And if I, I can just clarify, add to that, that it's actually essential that the consortium does have a lead. Um, we've, we're okay. very clear about that because we have to enter into an, a, a funding agreement with one organisation and that okay. organisation will have responsibility for all of the um, requirements under the funding agreement. Hi, uh, Craig Parsons from NEMI. Just a question about uh, consortia. Do you have an idea of what the consortia may look like? An indicative kind of how big, how small? It's very much about what's in the region, you know, what are the needs of the group in the region and who might therefore be the most logical partners in the model. And the lead agency is expected to be an NGO. Um, does that go for all <laughs> consortia partners? Are they all non-government? No, no, no. So the, the lead agency needs to be an NGO. Yep. So that's the one that we all ha um, have the funding agreement with. Um, but no, we do envisage, as I mentioned before, that there'll be com Commonwealth and state-funded services, the mental health nurse incentive program providers, could, you know, will be part of the model. Um, and just a question about: uh, Will there be a provision for subcontracting? Yes, we we would expect there would be um, through consortia arrangements. The PIR lead might you know, subcontract with other providers or partners within that region. Hi, my name's Renee Williams. I'm from the Eastern Sydney Medicare Local. Um, my question is about the evaluation and um, I'm wondering what your notion of the evaluation might look like, what that would feel like and shape into, whether it's the client's journey or whether it's stats and, uh, and so forth. The um, evaluation tendering process is active at the moment, so obviously um, details of that can't be released. However, it is a comprehensive evaluation that includes both qualitative and quantitative components. So yes, client journeys, yes, stats, all of those kinds of different multiple data sources need to come together to ultimately achieve the objectives of the evaluation, which is to make a determination about the effectiveness of this program, one, in relation to individual client outcomes, and two, in relation to the treatment service system. So there's both a systems level evaluation and an individual client level evaluation. Okay, so first and foremost, um, please utilise the website up there in uh, the very top of the slide, www.health.gov.au forward slash mental health. This is your entry point to the Partners in Recovery initiative. All the information that is going to assist you 
to put in an ITA or work with local partners to do so will come up on that website. The guidelines and other things are there already. The information um, sheets and more are in development on particular aspects of service that, um, as exemplars. Um, a question and answer bulletin um, or booklet is also going to be developed and will appear shortly, reflecting some of the questions that have been asked in these information centre sessions and others that are received. The dates and details of the invitation to apply will also appear. Thank you.